In this video, I am going to tell you a very simple way of learning and uh, mastering any design tool like Sketch, Adobe XD, Figma, Photoshop in just 10 days or maybe less than 10 days, maybe a week. So any design tool, if you are a UI designer, you are a web designer, there are certain things that you are going to repeat in your design again and again. So whenever you have to learn something, I'm going to give you some tips so you can learn any design tool in just few days. So first thing is that get familiar with the interface, the panels they have. Whenever you open up a new document, there are property panels that are almost similar in all different interfaces, right side property panels, left side layers, or sometimes right side layers and left side we have tools. Sometimes we have tools at the top. So these are just the interface elements. They are going to be almost similar. Second thing is settings. So if there are few settings that are required for UI designers, you have to learn them and try to uh, get to know a little bit of settings when you start any design. Now, um, third is shortcuts. So this is very important but don't try to learn all different hundreds of shortcuts of any design tool just the shortcuts that are really necessary for example moving your layers moving your layers up and down for example we have a layer at the bottom if we want to move it at the up uh, top you should learn these few um, you can say shortcuts second is a few shortcuts for masking few shortcuts for uh, you can say overlays, uh, filling something with image um, or uh, things like that. So uh, for example, we have, uh, we, we want to get a text layer. So I should have uh, learned the, that shortcut easily. Like I have to press T to uh, get the type tool. And then I have to press O for the oval and um, uh, U for the shape in Photoshop. So these are different shortcuts because we are going to create a lot of buttons. We are going to create uh, a lot of text element, typography. So shapes, text, masking, uh, move, movement, movement of layers, uh, alignment. These, these are the shortcuts you are going to learn first. So these are just like 10 shortcuts maximum, 10 to 15. You don't need to learn like uh, 50 of shortcuts. These are going to be the basics and you are going to have a good time with them. The next thing is uh, in UI design or web design, you do a lot of things rep repetitively. So we have to repeat a lot of things. For example, creating shapes, creating text elements, masking elements, like hiding few portions of uh, our elements some somewhat uh, overlay images overlaying images with dark uh, backgrounds and things like that shadows putting some shadows again and again on different buttons uh, and then we have a new thing which is components or symbols uh, in a sketch they are, uh, they have symbols in figma and adobe xd they have they call them components they are the same thing reusable elements you need to learn how to use them and how to create them then we have at the end when we are we are completing our design we have to export it to our developers so this is another another step so you need to learn all the export options like svg icons uh, like png images jpeg images you need to learn how to export uh, your design in any software you can upload it and export it to zeppelin or evocode these are third party tools or uh, other kind of these kind of tools so again i am going to repeat creating some shapes and text then we have masking then we have different layer overlay effects then we have uh, export options how to export things uh, so i think basically these are all different things so i i don't think that shadows and maybe few layer styles layer style effects so these are all the things that are there. Uh, one thing I missed is grid. So, okay. So you need to learn how to create a layout grid 
in Adobe XD, Adobe Photoshop and uh, Sketch. So, so this is very important because most of your design will be uh, uh, with that layout, 12 column layout or 6 column or 4 column. So that is all. You need to learn some shortcuts. You need to learn the things that are going to repeat again and again and you are going to get a little bit familiar with the interface. For example, where are the tools you have? Where are the settings you, you need to do? Where is the layers panel? And where is uh, the properties panel? That is all. I think you can learn uh, any tool. Uh, I, I think I can bet on it within seven days no more than that if you uh, if you think that you are going to get expert and you are going to like magic fingers uh, in just seven days that is not possible that is um, a muscle memory it is going to take a lot of time maybe three or four months working on a tool uh, maybe one month to get that muscle memory that you are going to just use keyboard shortcuts to do everything i have seen these kind of designers i am not one of them uh, i have seen some designers that are that are so quick in uh, uh, sketch that uh, it's unbelievable they don't even touch their uh, mouse so um, that is all if you have any questions you can comment below I think this video is going to get, get give you a lot of help in learning any design tool don't depend on them try to learn what you need and uh, right now it might be Figma or sketch uh, in the next few years it might be something else who knows so don't try to you know focus on tools just try to learn them uh, if you have a new job a new office they are using figma try to learn figma it will take you just six or seven days no more than that and that is all so um, i hope you will enjoy uh, this video and you will really you are really going to like it and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon uh, I think that is all so uh, I, I wanted to share these tips from a long time but um, you can say I, I didn't had this uh, air conditioner in in my this uh, office setup this is my small home office so uh, I recently have installed this and right now that is why I am right now standing in front of this camera I'm not sure about lighting right now I'm going to see it in the video anyhow Till then, see you soon in the next video. If you have any uh, suggestions to make more videos like these, uh, do tell me and uh, I would love to work on that. Uh, see you soon. Take care and bye.